Okay. Welcome to the Get the Avengers to Like Me thread. I think they already like you? Uh, I don't know. I think I caught Iron Man glaring at me in the lab. Ugh, that's just his face. Promise. But let me think. Uh... Oh, can you bake? I hear he likes snickerdoodles. <laughs> yeah, me and ovens aren't really on good terms. That's why I mostly rely on dollar pizza and halal food trucks. Oh, man. I would kill for a euro right now. Focus, Jersey. How do I get them to like me? Or at least tolerate me? I don't really think you have anything to worry about. Widow trusts you, so Cap trusts you. Tony and Bruce are science bros, so if you talk nerdy to them, they'll adopt you in a heartbeat. And Thor likes everyone, so that's not really an issue. You're panicking over nothing. Promise. I guess. I just didn't really expect superhero work to involve so much socializing. I was never any good at all those networking workshops. Hey, if it's any help, I like you. We're gonna be best of friends, Spidey. Just you wait. You know I was serious about this being a one-time thing, right? I'm not planning on sticking around. Yeah, yeah. I totally believe you. Winky face. Hey, Liz. I wanted to reach out to you before, but you blocked my phone number. Which I totally get. That is your prerogative, and I respect your boundaries. But I swear I wouldn't try to contact you if it wasn't important. So, if you haven't already deleted this, I have this friend that I'm trying to help out. He's a really good dude. You'd like him. But he's looking into some things. Things I used to be concerned about. And he found something, and honestly... I don't know who else to ask about it. I'll just say it. I was right to be worried about you know who. Whom? Yeah, them. They're up to all sorts of shady things. But here's the thing. It looks like they're doing it with supplies from your family's company. I know you. And I don't think you'd want Alan Chemicals involved in this. Please tell me I'm right. Miss you. Pete. Peter. I'm not gonna pretend that it's all water under the bridge, but I understand why you're contacting me. To be clear, you're right. And I would have thought that no one here would willingly let our products be used by AIM, especially not for programs like these. But those pictures your friend took prove it. Those products clearly came from us here at Allen Chemicals. I can read part of the manifest label in the pictures. And whoever it was, they covered their tracks. Any record of that sale has been expunged from our system internally. But I tracked down the paper shipping records directly from the warehouse. I'm gonna dig into this, find out where the rest of the shipment was sent. Then maybe your friend can help us find out who's behind it. Because until then, there's no one here that I can trust. Please don't make me regret trusting you, Liz. So we looked into that intel from your friend. It's good. We're gonna move on the AIM caches and see if we can intercept one of their deliveries. That's awesome! If we can find the caches, we might be able to find their shipment logs and trace it back to who sold them in the first place. <laughs> hey... Can I ask you a question? Shoot. You're... Kind of the expert on secret identities. I've been doing this superhero thing for like six years now, and I still feel like I'm always on the verge of revealing who I am. How do you keep it up? When does it stop feeling like I'm lying to the world? It doesn't. Not really. There's always going to be two sides of who you are. The public side and the private side. The more you start to mix the two, the harder it's gonna be to keep the lie up. So this is just how it's going to be forever? Lying to my family? To... to my friends? Well, yes and no. Just because it gets harder when you let people in doesn't mean you stop letting them in. 
You just have to adapt. Find the select few you can trust, really trust, and let them help you. Speaking from experience? <laughs> Let's just say international spies aren't really meant to have permanent homes on flying helicarriers. Listen, I know the double life is a pain. Trust me, I think about it all the time. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and just need to talk it out, let me know. I'm pretty good at keeping secrets. All right. I will. Thanks. You know, originally I was gonna call myself Black Widow Man. But then I found out that male Black Widow spiders are harmless. Kinda took the teeth out of the name. <laughs> and Spider-Man has a better ring to it. Hi, I'm Liz. Liz Allen. Peter's friend, sort of. It's complicated. Your dad's company is Allen Chemicals, right? Yeah. I, um, I tracked down the person who's been funneling their resources to AIM. It's, it's Mark Raxton. Should I know who that is? He's my stepbrother. Been working as a junior executive since he graduated college, and now... Well, now I guess he's selling out our family to AIM. Can't wait for that conversation over Thanksgiving dinner. We have to stop him. Any idea what he might have planned? Not a clue. I'll look into what he's been doing at Alchem, but let me know if you find anything on your end. We're going to fix this. Don't worry. <laughs> 